Hi and welcome to QTR number three or quick tool review number three. So in this uh, review uh, I'm going to be looking at a new type of drill bit uh, I have run across. I didn't have any of these in the past so I ordered one after I ran into some problems. What I was doing was I was drilling some deep holes in aluminum uh, like this guy right here. And uh, this guy's a little over two inches. It's uh, deeper than the flutes are. And uh, I had a bunch of deep holes to drill, number 25 like this, and uh, what would happen was after you got maybe, I don't know, maybe half an inch, three quarters of an inch in, I started to have real problems clearing chips with the uh, drill bit. Um, so I looked online and sure enough the manufacturers have a supposed solution for this, which is called a parabolic drill bit. And Let me zoom in for you. Okay, just kidding. This is a larger drill bit that I had that I bought on eBay that's an 8mm Hertel. But in any case, you'll notice that compared to a regular drill bit, the, uh, the web is a little thinner in the middle. And uh, that allows greater chip clearance, which makes the drill bit a little bit weaker, but in soft material like this, that won't be a problem. Um, also, it's polished and the, they're much wide, they're open. The flutes are a lot more open than a regular drill bit, which... They almost look like the edge is sort of almost curled over. It's not because they grind it straight through, but it looks almost like it's curled over. So chips tend to stick in these. Uh, these guys, it's much more open. The chip will come off the side or you can brush them out of the way easily. So let's compare. So here's the regular drill bit. So it's starting to clog already. And as you go along, aluminum, I found that aluminum starts welding itself. Even when you're using lubrication, really, uh, aluminum will start welding itself to the flute. See, now I can't get it out. It's pretty much stuck. Now it will continue to work and it'll push the aluminum out, but now you go a lot slower because the flutes are, are packing up, which makes them run hotter, makes the welding chance even greater. So the other solution is to do tiny little pecking. Which slows you way down. You see that they're still, see jammed in here all the way around. There are uh, chunks of aluminum in the flutes. And the more of these you do, the worse it gets because along the sharp cutting edges of the drill bit, you start getting uh, more and more aluminum welding, which makes more aluminum stick. So now, let's try the parabolic. See how it performs. Okay, there's a good clear spot. Now I'm going to be unfair about this. I'm going to push this one much harder. So I just push that in full half inch in one go. Put it, pushed it a full inch and a half. All in one go. So the chips do, they can stick in it but it clears much more easily. I just went all the way through that in two goes. If I did that in this, they would completely pack in and I'd have to stop. Now I was pushing this much harder than the manufacturer recommend recommended, but you notice the chips still come out really easily. This drill bit definitely makes it a lot easier to do the job. So I hope you find that interesting and useful and uh, just know that uh, it might be useful to go to some of the, uh, the vendor's websites when you're looking for a specialty uh, project where you need to do something out of the ordinary like drill a bunch of really deep holes in something sticky like aluminum brass copper and check out and see if there's drill bits made specially for it or other cutting tools made specially for it sometimes it'll really speed up operations uh, it may not always be worth it because they can be expensive these were not um, so uh, check it out hope you find this video useful if you do let me know in the comments if you don't let me know in the comments uh, if you have something particularly you'd like me to look for let me know and I will try and do that. I may not always be able to, but I certainly will try. And I always appreciate your comments and thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.